As many of you know, the death of a mentally ill homeless man in Fullerton last year has sparked protests, it's led to charges against two police officers, and it's led to a city council recall election. Now, as Lisa Lee reports, the death of Kelly Thomas is inspiring something artsy. <laughs> These demonstrators in downtown Fullerton protested against the Fullerton Police Department after the death of Kelly Thomas on July 5, 2011. Thomas suffered from schizophrenia and had been homeless for years. His death at the hands of Fullerton police officers made headlines around the world. This week, a special art exhibit called Art with an Agenda, the life and murder of Kelly Thomas, is set to open on the one-year anniversary of his death. If you see what they did to him and you value him as a human being, there's only one way you can react. And that is to think it was wrong and to be emotional and to want change. The trial of Officer Manuel Ramos and Corporal Jay Cicinelli is just beginning. Both say they are not guilty. At the Paws Gallery in downtown Fullerton, the verdict is already in with works that feature nightmarish images of the accused. So if you want to come to our show, guess what? you're going to see true renditions of 16 scenes of that tape. Baxter is referring to a series of 16 paintings by John Solom, taken from a surveillance tape recorded the night of the incident. It's exactly what happened. Artist Susan Olson, who played Cindy in the old Brady Bunch TV show, submitted this work called Still Life. Sherry Curry of the band The Runaways donated this intricate wood carving inspired by Kelly Thomas's love of the guitar. Baxter says other depictions aim to humanize the man, known mostly as a battered victim in a hospital photo. He's not that battered face. He's not that wild homeless man. He's more than that. Graphic artist Tony Bach also submitted a piece. He's on board with the aim of the exhibit, to spark change in the community. I really appreciate the fact that we do have an outlet here, you know, at this gallery to have a public voice and act, some people be activists here. Another exhibit includes the protest signs made by demonstrators. For gallery owner Michael Magoski, a fair trial for Ramos and Cicinelli is no longer important. I don't think it's so important anymore of what happens to the police officers because they're going to have to live with what they've done for the rest of their lives. Their families are going to have to live with, with the shame that they now have. I think what's important is what we as a society do to keep this from happening and potentially like we, we all need to wake up. The gallery is set to open for Friday night and is located on West Santa Fe Avenue. That's just one and a half blocks away from where Kelly Thomas was killed. This is Lisa Lee reporting.